Hey guys, so there are as many as a million men in New York City who are having sex with other men. Probably at least half of which you all have slept with. <laughs> but for all the fantasies and load blowing that's going on, how many of those guys are really having great sex? And are you having great sex? That is what this series is all about. That is why we are here. I'm Davey Wavy, and I'm in New York City with some amazing friends. <laughs> and welcome to the first episode in this four-part series where we use Tantra to increase your sex life. So tell me guys, is it easy to meet men in New York City? In New York, you're walking along the street, you definitely have more people that you feel like are checking you out, and you're checking out more people than some rundown city. I guess I should refine the question. Okay. Is it easy to meet, like, quality men? I think you can meet, like, a, a quick fuck. But I don't know if that turns, <laughs> I don't know if that turns into can a, a Can a quick fuck be quality? In my book, yeah, but... Yeah, if, if it's good, <laughs> I guess. I guess so, I guess, right? So when yeah. it comes to meeting guys, like that's why we're really excited to partner with Hornet on this series. Hornet bringing you quality gaze. <laughs> because Hornet is an app that's actually about connecting guys. And so the profiles on Hornet, they're social profiles, so you can like follow the guys that you're interested in and like see their updates and what's going on. So you can, you can keep in touch with them. They also have the largest gay newsroom in the world and they're really popular here in New York and if you click the link down below to follow my profile you will automatically be entered to win this gold iPad which I am going to sign right now yes. so click the link down below follow me on Hornet and you will automatically be entered to win this and I guess if none of that works out then that's fine because today's episode is about masturbating and you don't need anyone to do that so hey so I guess because this is this is our first episode and this is about Tantra when we say that word Tantra like what is it what does it mean to you guys techniques that you know I think like what Buddhist people use to sort of have sex right or different ways in which you can have sex but like meditating on it <laughs> so like sex but something deeper. yes yeah, like looking for a deeper meaning to having better sex i think it goes beyond sex as in being more in touch with because it's not just with something you do with somebody else it's, yeah it can be like by yourself it can be more it's more getting in touch with yourself yeah like as a, opposed a to spiritual, just with other people yeah like a spiritual like a yes States. Like spiritual penis. Well, we, we were working with this um, tantra coach on like a number of these projects and, and like every, it's like always hard to define like what that is. Yeah. And he's like, when you do yoga, you're using movement to find truth. And with tantra, you're using sexual energy to find truth. I mean, I would rather have sex than take a yoga class. So mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. Like, so, I mean, that's one definition of tantra. And we worked with this tantra coach named Brad Leaf Amberhart to put together five tips five tips for making your masturbation even better than it already is. The first tip is touch yourself all over. So I guess my question is, what's the most sensitive place on your body? Probably my nipples now that I've like, got them pierced. I would have guessed it was your hole. <laughs> but, I, mean, yeah. I would have gone with his hole too. <laughs> you don't let me pinch your nipples. What do you mean those are your most sensitive? Um, they're mostly just sensitive because they're still healing. Are we getting into a domestic dispute <laughs> right. here? Because that's beyond the scope of <laughs> today's video. Mine's the head of my dick. <laughs> oh, absolutely. That's true. And that was a quick answer. Brendan, what's yours? Um, oh, my probably my earlobes or maybe like the soles of my feet. Or the feet, that's big. I think mine is, uh, what's this little part uh, underneath your knee? <laughs> oh, see, I'm getting off right now. <laughs> <laughs> I have never heard of that. So where, oh, see. <laughs> Do you communicate that to your partner? No, I don't know. I mean, because essentially, like, if I'm fucking, like, it's, it's a sensual move, right? Like, we're all touching me all over and every time they go here I just go crazy. It's the weirdest thing in the world. When you're when you're masturbating, like it it, it why do we just focus it like on know. you know like there's so many other little spots to touch. So Brad's point is to like like masturbating doesn't need to just be about stroking your cock. Like if your nipples feel really good then like Do the I'm doing the whole the whole thing. <laughs> just in case you don't know. It's like the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> So the second tip, okay, this one, there's like a little warning. This one's weird. The second tip is to bounce up and down. I do that. <laughs> Shut up. I swear. So if I'm laying down, like I sort of simulate the movement, right? And so it gets me off if I'm like, if I bounce my ass up and down on the bed and like, get, oh my God, I can't believe it. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but yeah, like I'm simulating like being pleasured and I'm, you know, I'm just minusing the other person there. What's interesting is you're speaking to a whole other point. Bra Brad was saying that, that by bouncing up and down, it also like, it takes a longer time to come because you're like, because oh. you're like moving the energy but in your yeah. body. It works on many levels. This is what Brad wrote, okay? We're unconsciously programmed to jerk off quickly, yes. Mm -hmm. So see if you can extend your pleasure time by even five minutes more than usual, but bouncing up and down when you're about to come. When we learn to be more patient with ourselves and give our bodies time for pleasure, a body response kicks in that says, this person loves me. Maybe, can we do a little bounce? <laughs> I'm gonna need a bra. <laughs> like, so I've never bounced, but I'll like elevate different parts of my body when I'm jerking off. Like if I'm just lying in bed and I've been jerking off for a little while, like we have a, a brick pillar next to our bed and I'll like stick my feet up on the pillar and like elevate myself. And you all have far more interesting sex lives than I do. My glasses are fogging up again. <laughs> on, on that note, have you guys ever tried something to like elongate coming for you, to like prolong the ejaculation? It's like an all day event for me. <laughs> it's just... Is it all day every day? <laughs> no, like I would never get anything done. I learned a technique from Calvin actually edging. Have you heard of edging? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You go, 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 and then right when you're about to go, you stop, yeah. wait, wait a second. Sometimes it might drip a little. The longer you edge, the more intense your cum shot's gonna be, the larger your cum shot's gonna be. So it just builds up. It, it really, builds up, it yeah. really it builds up, yeah. Building, yeah like... do, you, do you have a technique, guy? No, that's it. I edge. I'm very edgy. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm trying to, if I'm, if I feel like I'm about to come and I need to like pull myself back, I just try to think of my mother's pure love. Oh, oh. My. And, like, <laughs> Why would you ever? I was worried about your I could not think about my mother when I'm think of my dead grandmother or something. Oh my god! <laughs> and the erection done. Tip number three is to use creative strokes. Okay. So it's thinking outside the like death grip of like. Arr. So it begs the question: Do you guys have any interesting techniques that you <laughs> cock strokes that you? I definitely do. I <laughs> do my left hand upside down. Is that what, is that your one you do every time though, or is yeah. that? That's like the go-to. No, yeah. mine is mine is definitely a well, left hand. No, with left hand, and it's it's more of like a twist. So oh, just, it's, it's, yeah, it's, is there a name for this? We can name it now. The, the cock screw. The cock <laughs> screw. <laughs> yes. I usually use my right hand, and so I switch from my right hand to my. Actually, I think I did this way, left hand. But because your dick is like trained yeah. for your hand, mm -hmm. it took me weeks to be able to jerk myself <laughs> off that way. But when I finally did, it was like I was having sex with like a whole different person. It's a whole other orgasm. Yeah. You can also like pull. We did some videos where you like you pull your balls down. And then you jerk off this way, and then you yeah. you do it around the clock. Yeah. So you can be like like three o'clock, six o'clock. Working <laughs> nine to five. <laughs> you can also just do the head. Oh yeah, yeah. I see that a lot of times mm -hmm. on. Uh, but you got to have like a, like a, a huge mushroom head in order to do that. Like tiny dick heads won't be able to. Don't So polish a smaller head. Oh, mm -hmm. polish. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the word that I want associated with my dick. Polish. polish. If you're Calvin and you have a humongous dick, oh. then you can do the. Two hands. Also, you yeah. should definitely yeah. do a demonstration now. I just think that that is. <laughs> <laughs> I forget that that's where you were going with that. <laughs> All right. So tip number four. This one's also really strange. Is to keep your spine upright. And the point that Brad makes is that a lot of us are kind of curled downward when we're about to ejaculate. So this is. I'll read his words because they're better than mine. Embody Tantra teaches that the spine is like a highway for information to get transmitted from your balls to your brain. So the next time you see a guy about to come, watch what his head is doing. Most men look down when they're about to shoot. And this position curves the spine down and forces the energy downward toward the cock, producing ejaculation. But if you keep your spine upright with the crown of your head towards the sky and combine this with all the other uh, tips that we're talking about today, you have a completely different kind of masturbation experience. I guess my question is, what's your what's your ejaculation pose typically? Mine is Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm like, I'm like, the, I'm like I just like curl within myself. I guess it's situational. It's depending on where I am. I you know, have. if I'm at home, I'm in the bed, lay down. If I'm at work, I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> you your... jerk off a lot, yeah. So how do you? I don't know, because I, I already have bad posture, so I know my back's not aligned like that. Yeah. So I, like, once I'm in that, I know I'm like in the zone and not even worrying about that. So probably the 
Sonic. Like that's a Sonic. Yeah. Sonic. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also like usually on my computer, so I'm like like watching porn, and, and I just kind of keep crawling downward. Like it's. See, I found the opposite for myself. I've not like I've seen that. I've seen the the whole Sonic. Yeah, yeah. You know, curl up. No, I find that when I when I come, I I find myself fully elongating and aligning everything. My my toes point, my legs are straight, my back, my head is usually up and back. Like You're like you know. a tantric guru. <laughs> <laughs> so tip number five is to make noise, right? So the idea is like these tips are supposed to transform your masturbation experience. Like instead of masturbating in like your parents' bathroom for like two minutes when you're 14 years old, yeah. like as quickly and quietly as possible, like to do this in a space where you feel like you can really kind of like let your hair down and be yourself and a space where you can like make some noise. I heard you earlier today, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> You heard that too? Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you guys make noise when you when you like? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Even when you're masturbating. Yeah, I do. I don't have a lot of sex, so that's where I've sort of perfected the masturbation scene because I don't get a lot of sex, so I have to figure out different ways to pleasure myself. So I make noise. I do body moves, Beyonce, <laughs> eight count, all kind of shit. <laughs> all kind of shit. Like sex noises? Yes, I do. Mm, I moan. Like, I don't oh care. Like, I mean, <laughs> like, last time I had sex was February. It's fucking July. Oh, oh girl, man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You're but if no you're having, if you're having fantastic orgasms with yourself, like, there's nothing wrong with that. Honestly, that is the reason why I'm probably not having a lot of sex because, like, my cleanup is quicker, it's easier. Like, I don't have to act like I care about you afterwards. <laughs> you don't have to go to the clinic I don't have, afterwards. Like, <laughs> I just wipe it off and go. Do you guys make noise when you're like? For sure when you're having sex, right? But like during sex, but for sure, I don't think I do by myself, but most of that's because like usually there's like someone else in the house and not that I'm ashamed to do it, but I like don't I call it like don't want to be like, screaming in there but <laughs> so. so like when I'm playing video games and he's just jerking off in the bathroom. Yeah, I'll get bored and I'll like wander off around somewhere else in the house and go do it, but does it still trigger like that shame of when you're little, like I shouldn't be doing this? Is that like why you don't want like Calvin to hear? You doing it? And just sometimes I'm like not DTF and I don't want him to like to wander in and be like, I know what you're doing. Like down to fuck. Let me jump. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I was like DTF. We had a tantric coach recently um, tell us about like as you're ejaculating, like to like really like make like some like ahs and like really like breathe into it. And he's like, you'll have a bigger ejaculation. Yeah. Like it lasts longer. Your orgasm will be like running through your body. And so I've lately kind of got into what 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 you know already yeah. and. It really does make a big difference. It's a huge difference. Yeah. If nothing else that you take from this, when you're about to come, <laughs> make some noise. Make some noise. That's, Why not? That's like when I'm the most right? vocal at it. Like. Yeah. Are you like, a screamer? A little bit. Yeah. I mean, and I'll like dirty talk like to myself. Oh my basically. god, me too. Yeah, like. So yeah. you shit talk yourself. Yes. No, I mean I'm I'm talking to somebody who's not there. Yeah. I don't know. Y'all like, yeah. have so much to say about masturbating. <laughs> I'm so Everyone off. does it. It's the one thing that every yeah. man it's does. It's universal. Whatever your experience is in life, this is the common thread that that runs through all of us. Yeah. Even off. people that are celibate, they're jacking off more <laughs> forever. These were some these were some great uh, tips and techniques. So now you guys are all gonna try it on me and. <laughs> <laughs> With Thanksgiving turkey, and you will be my gravy. <laughs> anyway, on that note, again, steaming up the glasses. In the comments below, I would actually love to see what some of your tips are for, for masturbating, for how we all can improve our experience, and for the audience at home. Make sure you also click the link down below to follow me on Hornet so that you can win this lovely gold iPad. And we have three more episodes of Gay Sex in the City to come, so make sure you're subscribed to this channel so that you can get all of that. Uh, big thank you to Hornet, and as always, more to come.